Hey friends, I hope you're having a happy day. Today I'm de-greeting greeting cards to use in my flow journals and art journals and trashy journals and things like that. It's really easy to de-greet cards and you know if we're lucky enough to get them then I it's it's great to I mean if you want to keep them that's wonderful but for me I love recycling and I love repurposing and and it's a lot of fun to take these cards and just kind of make them into an art object of course if you have cards if you have a beautiful greeting card like this one from my friend Jeannie isn't that just gorgeous just pretty pretty colors and with this one uh, she did not write anything on the inside of it and a lot of times I send cards with nothing written on the inside because I like the idea of resending this card. I like that because it's an instantly recyclable kind of thing to do and it is environmentally aware. Uh, you just you keep giving that gift of a beautiful card. In this instance, um, I'm not going to re-gift this card. I'm going to add it to my little personal flow journal that I've had going on for a little while here. When we make things for journals, typically I will put a sample inside my little flow journal here. So you can see how perfectly that worked out. That's a beautiful addition to this signature. It goes with the rest of the papers that I have in here and it's a wonderful memento from my friend. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to de-greet some cards. I have several folks who just send me packs of greeting cards and you know they might be from like their mom that kept cards uh, for a very long time and you know maybe she's passed and they don't know what to do with the cards and so I get a lot of excellent cards to work with. So the first one that we're going to do we're just going to we're going to revamp it. We're going to take a standard greeting card and we're just going to kind of make it into something else. So you can use greeting cards as is. You can deconstruct them. Um, for this one, what I'm going to do, I, I love this panel, but you know, if, if I put this in a card, for, if I put this in a journal, then I really don't want that sentiment on there. Unless you're working with, you know, a uh, a mom journal and <laughs> you just want to keep that keep that word. First thing I want to do here is just kind of get rid of that sentiment and the easiest way to get rid of that sentiment for me is to just stick something over it and that is what I'm going to do with this pretty pink paper right here and I'm not going to be super picky with it. Um, I can kind of see my lines. Sorry, I'm working at a different place today uh, because I knew that we were going to have a big time glare if I worked at my uh, at my usual art desk. And, and sometimes we do this upstairs. I'm very fortunate that I have a space, a spare bedroom upstairs where I can work as well. And that's so nice. But oh my gosh, guys, you ought to see that. <laughs> That is Flow Journal Central up there. <laughs> it's scary up there. There's stuff everywhere. It looks like a happy explosion. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to put this panel right here. If you want to get really picky, you can take an X-Acto knife and you can, you know, you can kind of uh, cut along here. I've got an X-Acto knife out, so let's just... Let's just see what we can do right there. We can go around these little flowers just like that and kind of let them poke up through the paper panel here. Let's just do one just for, for time's sake. My exacto knife is not very sharp. Okay, there we go. 
that'll work just fine. Okay, and then we're just going to pop this in here and just kind of glue it down. Whoa, y'all, tacky glue that is upside down. I think I am in love. <laughs> this is so nice. I, I found it at my local craft store and I thought, oh my gosh. You know, because I think we're all, I, I like to keep my glue upside down as most of us do. And nine times out of 10, I will, I will forget to put the top back on it when I turn it over, you know, just to keep it upside down in a glass or whatever. And then sometimes the top falls off and then it goes down. And uh, Anyway, I was so happy to find this. And I think that all of us are going to be happy to find this. Hold on. Lost the top. Collar hold, please. Okay, there we go. Oh, I love it. All right, so we have put a panel on the front of this card. You know, easy peasy. You can add, you know, I don't know, whatever you want. Doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to flip the card open. So we see this part over here says, A mother's love is a precious gift to be cherished forever. We have the, um, the greeting. And I've already de-greeted the name here. So, um... It didn't, uh, it didn't degreet all the way, but I, I don't think that my person will mind. What we're going to do here, a couple things. So we're combining these two cards to make them one card. I'm going to cut the front off this one. Another, you know, pretty, pretty card here. So we'll just cut the front off. And with this part of the card, the cards were similar. We can just make a pocket right here. And that's what I'm going to do right here. We still have the front of the card. And I think what I'm going to do here is just use part of this and kind of degreet that mother's love quote. Again, you can you can always you can leave that and use it if that's what you want. And don't forget you have with these you know, these words, you can always like cut out the word special or wishes or whatever and use those too. This is a fun thing to do if you're kind of uh, lost for stuff to do. It's fun to just grab some cards and, you know, a lot of times the images are very inspiring on cards. And, and there we go. That's going to work just great. Give that another little bit of a trim right here. And of course you could have just like stuck another piece of paper over here. Something like that. Doesn't matter. Yay, tacky glue. <laughs> I'm excited about it, y'all. Alright. Oh my goodness, it's just so easy. I'm going to go buy every bit of it that they have. So there we go. Now we have degreeted the front of the card by placing just some paper on it. We've degreeted the inside of the card. Now we need to degreet this part of the card. And I think that we'll do that with um, hmm, kind of trying to decide if I want to use more of this card or if I want to use. Um, I think we'll just use some more of this card. And for this, I'm using some textured scissors. And I think we'll slide that right here. And then we'll create our pocket. I kind of like that. Mm. Mm. Let's try it like this. 
now. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah. Mm. I think a, a little bit needs to come off over here, y'all. Let's take that off. Like that. Let's do the same thing over here. And there we go. I got a smudge over here. I'll go back with some some white paint and clean that up. I've been outside with the dogs, so my hands aren't, aren't well. Like I wash them, but you know, dogs <laughs> not very clean. <laughs> Need to wash them again so I don't get smudges. All right. Oh my goodness. That was supposed to be a pocket. Sorry, y'all. Just wipe some of this glue away. Woo! -hoo. Man, I'm glad I caught that. Okay. All right. So now we've got a nice little pocket. And to remind me that this is a pocket, when I start to put it into one of my journals, I'll remember that this is a pocket. So I'm just going to slide something down. Now we've degreeded the front. Degreeded the, in, degreeded the inside front cover, and we've degreeded this part. And now, if we want to leave this like it is, that's just fine. If we want to, um, you know, I'm super fond of this stamp. So I think what I'm going to do right here is make a pretty crown stamp, and I'm going to stamp over the thing that says "Forget Me Not." I don't, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. You can put paper down here, you can put washi tape down here, you can do just like whatever you want. All right, so now you have, um, you can slide this into a signature for a junk journal or a trash journal or whatever you're working on. So that is one way to degreet a card. So we have used greeting card as is, we've degreeted and reconstructed one. Um, for this one, let's see, I think this one. Sorry, I made some notes so I wouldn't be so scattered. This is one of those cool cards that just kind of fold out. So this leaves you with really nice possibilities. I, um, I added a little bit of color to this card because there was, it was just an embossed color. It was just embossed. It had no color at all. So I just took a few pens and you know, I'm not a painter. I, I took some watercolor and just, you know, kind of slap dashed some watercolor onto it and then outlined it with a recollections marker. What I'm going to do with this one is I am going to remove the top of this. And just because it's just interesting to take, to take this off. I hope that this video will give you some ideas about how to to use or reuse you know your greeting cards you don't have to do anything that I'm doing all right cool thing about fold out cards is they lend themselves to pocket making don't they so we cut off the top here and now we have the ability to make a pocket. And I do love pockets. It's very easy. And I love stuffing them with whatever. All right, so we deconstructed the front of this by adding just a little bit of watercolor and a little bit of marker. No biggie here. All right, so that is the front of the card. This is the uh, inside front cover. It says, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. If you want to keep that sentiment, that's fine. If you don't, then just cover it, cover over it, you know, with some paper or something. I like this sentiment, so I'm going to keep it. Now, the next thing that I need to do is get rid of this um, space on the inside. And this is a perfect piece of paper to do that. 
shift it a little bit because I like torn edges. And there we go. And we degreeted this part of the card. Front, we've made a pocket. I don't want to forget there's a pocket there. I've left the sentiment. I've glued on a piece of painty paper. I'm going to make another pocket right here. And this time it's going to be a side pocket. If you have, if you have a punch and you want to, to do like a, a half circle punch right here, then that's always a good idea. I do not have a punch. Um, so I am just going to stick a piece of paper in here so I can remember that this is a pocket. Because I've, I've, I tend to do a lot of these and then I kind of put them away and then I use them in my journals and sometimes I forget. You know, I forget that I've got a little pocket going on there. But the pieces of paper remind me that there's a pocket there. All right, so we've done the front and side and now it's time to adjust the back. You've got a lovely piece of white space to work with. I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to pull out, and I'm using my scrap box book. Uh, I don't have a scrap box anymore. I have a scrap box book that I put together in a flow journal style before I even knew what flow journals, flow journals were all about. <laughs> For the back of this card, I'm gonna make a frame I'll just take some painty paper. It up. And this is, when you make a frame like this, it's just like an invitation to, uh, you know, for the person who receives the journal to kind of just do something with it. Do something with that frame. Put something inside there. Maybe you want to draw something or stamp something or play with watercolors or play with acrylic paint or maybe you want to play with spray. Maybe you want to cut something up and make a flower out of it. Okay. No. I need a little frame for that one. And that looks great. You can even write a prompt in here. Draw something here. Write something here. All right. So there is our second de-greeted kind of greeting card. With this one, and particularly with sympathy cards, uh, you know, it's kind of it's it's kind of hard to. Um, to, I mean, you almost have to cover over the whole thing. Uh, sympathy is a, an understandable um, reason to send a card, but uh, it's just not a lighthearted sentiment. Um, so what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to cut off the whole top of the card. I love the flower. I think that is a water lily, maybe? I'm going to cut off the, the whole top of the card to make it even. I'm going to do the same thing at the bottom. And I'm even going to do this. This makes a great little signature, great little addition to a signature. Okay, there we go. I didn't get that very straight. Scissors are hard to use. Starting to really prefer smaller scissors. There we go. That looks better. With the top of the card, 
I'm just going to degreet the inside. this. I think with this one I can just add a little bit right there. Oh, I've got some washi tape over here too. I can put some washi tape on it. tape in the middle. I forgot I had that. Like I said, I'm not working in my usual spot and I totally forgot that I did have some washi down here. Uh-oh, this is not coming apart too great. Well, it's coming apart, but not, <laughs> not how I want it to. <laughs> Pull out your washi tape and fold this over. There we go. Need more. Sentiment still showing through. Conveniently, that just kind of ran in the back of the card and covered up the text that was already there. Put this other down here. Sorry guys, I got the shakies this morning. Do not know why. I'll grab a baby wipe. Clean up that glue just a little bit. There we go. Okay. All right, there we go. Now we've degreeted another card. And you've got a nice white space here. You know, I, I like white spaces because I think that it encourages people to write or draw or trace or, you know, do whatever they want to do with something like this. Okay, so I think that we are done. And we have degreeted several cards just using some scrap papers, using the cards themselves. I think it's fun. Oh, I wanted to show you one more thing. This is a really good idea. Um, you know, we all love text stamps, right? And if you have text, and particularly if it's cursive, this uh, lady had beautiful handwriting here. And I thought what would be a super cool idea is to, is to, I'm grabbing a Sharpie, and then that way I can trace a heart shape. I love handwriting. So we're just going to keep this handwriting. Isn't that beautiful? And I did spray. Um, I sprayed the text on the card with a bit of uh, lemon. Lemon. Oh, I, I forget what it's called. Lemon something. Delusions, that's what it is. Sorry I got distracted by a squirrel chasing a rabbit. <laughs> In the yard, that was funny. And I don't have my glasses on, can't see. And there we go, we've made a pretty little embellishment. Isn't that just pretty? I learned cursive writing in school, so I've, uh, I never gave up my cursive writing. I do print quite often, but I, uh, I still remember how to write in cursive. And I just think that's so, it's quite pretty. You know, 
even if you're if you're doing hearts or stars or whatever. Just make some beautiful little embellishment. Don't let that handwriting go to waste. Lost art. Okay, guys. Okay, so we have um, she greeted some greeting cards today, and I hope that if you find yourself in possession of some greeting cards, that you'll consider degreeting them and using them in your journals or junk journals or art journals or flow journals, whatever you guys want. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it, and you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Talk to you soon.